Welcome to Adventures with Angela and Wayne. We were childhood sweethearts and become young parents, but our little chicks have found their wings and flown the nest, so we decided to fly too. So this is me, Angela. I have a big passion for travel, new experiences and setting myself personal challenges. But whilst I do the organising and planning, I always take my best buddy along and my hubby Wayne. So this is Wayne. Luckily enough, Wayne also shares my passion and love for adventure, fun and challenges too. We want to give you tips, advice and reviews on all our travels. So come along with us and we will show you what life is like after raising a family. So we hope you enjoy these adventures with us. Second day in Bangkok. So yeah, we went out for dinner last night. while I explain this now. We've got a tuk-tuk down to Sea Praia Pier. That is the closest pier 15 minutes away from the hotel where we're staying. Now, it is a pier and you can get boats from here. You have to pay 15 bar per journey from this pier. This is not the Hop On Hop Off Express. So, we are down here, at this pier here. We need to go a few stops. And this Wat Aran, this is where they do the hop on, hop off from. So I believe that's where you pay 150 baht per person. So three or four quid per person. You get a ticket and you can hop on or off, obviously. That's that boat system all day and all night. Um, so now we just pay 15 baht each to get a boat from here to Wat Aran and hopefully we can then get the hop on, hop off boat. <laughs> I spent about an hour looking at this this morning on the web. Um, apparently it's really easy, it's like anything. London Underground, whatever. If you do it often, you learn it, you just know it. Uh, so it's probably not that complicated, but it is for us because we haven't got a clue what we're doing. Um, so tip is, yeah, if you are going to travel around Bangkok on the ferries and stuff, uh, yeah, just do a little bit of research. It's probably quite easy to learn. We didn't do it, so I only spent a little bit of time this morning having a look. Um, also a little tip as well, Tuk Tuk that we got last night, um, 200 bar down 25 minute journey down to the restaurants where we went the guy this morning was umming and ahhing a little bit and i said to him it's 200 bar he didn't really like it and then he also got all the pictures out for the long towel boats uh trying to die up sell us and stuff which it's fine it's not a problem if you want to be upsold you can go out on a private boat long towel boat be looked after 
you know it's not a problem but yeah just watch they do try to upsell you uh, and the cost we did meet somebody on one of the islands he had uh, him and his wife and two children so there's four of them he come via Bangkok and said that he wanted to see the floating markets and stuff so he had a long tail boat for the family he went around to see the floating markets he said it was nice and it was an experience uh, but it cost him 150 pounds I think that was only out a couple of hours um, he thought he got striped up whether that's the normal price as I say I wouldn't know um, but yeah just yeah just, just be a little bit vigilant that's all so we're gonna jump on this boat when it turns up hopefully and then we'll be at the right uh, pier <laughs> and just excited to go on the boat trip uh, so they've called us on to the jetty now apparently the boat is due um, just gonna get a little bit of video here so uh, we're on the jetty the boat coming in here See all the buildings along the water, boats going up and down. So it, it seems a lot busier than the Thames. They're really using this river. There's loads of um, good ships going up and down. I'll show you shortly. They're massive. Um, we're jumping on the boat now. lovely I just got dressed <laughs> I, don't match, I don't match stuff over here which is great I don't mind that <laughs> this is how much we haven't got a clue what we're doing no. okay so we've just come to this wet arrow and we did recognize the name because uh, there's a temple and stuff here so we probably wanted to come here anyway was however it, I was actually advised to come to this area because it's a nice area wasn't it? we was recommended yeah. to come to wet arrow now we just got off at Wat Aram Pier, as I just said on the camera, so that we can get the express hop on off off boat. When you get off at this pier, you have to pay 100 baht per person, which is £2.50, uh, because you're in the area where the temple is and they believe that you want to see the temple and stuff. So, we've paid the money, we're going to stay here for a while, we're hopefully going to get some food. We may as well look around the temple while we're here. Oh, yeah. It looks absolutely stunning, I'll get it on video. 
and then we'll look for the express boat and hopefully we do the hop on hop off so uh, when you come off here this is where you pay your money just where that brolly is that is the pier over there this is angela that looks divine ready for the temple there's a small row of shops here with some paraphernalia and the temple is right behind me just here oh, wow it looks amazing and believe me i don't know how much you I can see the camera can on the camera um wow the detail in that building is absolutely unreal i'll try and get a bit closer This is a typical 7-Eleven in the whole of Thailand that we've seen since we've travelled, not just in Bangkok. Um, I mean, they're everywhere. They're, you come out of here, walk, you only walk five minutes and there'll be another one, so they are everywhere. So when I'm saying typical, they're all laid out. It's a bit like Lidl's and Aldi's. They're, they're quite small. They're all laid out exactly the same. They have more or less the same stuff in. Um, these are like toasted sandwiches that are kept fresh in the fridge and then they toast them behind the counter they do uh, lots of different cold drinks here normal stuff alcohol uh, soft drinks and all your normal paraphernalia like your groceries and stuff like that uh, they do do like hot drinks here as well cappuccinos and coffees so this is their setup behind the counter so they're all set up there with the uh, cookers and the microwaves and the coffee making machine. Almost every single 7 Eleven is exactly the same. And uh, we're not worried about walking out yet yeah, because. It's air conditioned in here, so it's cool, obviously. The door just opened, it's absolutely hammering down with rain and it's about 34 degrees. So we just walked out of 7-Eleven, thinking we can run across the road. Where well, we got two steps and yeah, no, I mean, look. It's flooding. So we're currently hiding in a garage. Guy's working on his car. <laughs> <laughs> he said he's no problem. <laughs> he's going fine. He's proper hammering down. He's only gonna got us a couple of chairs. He's, he's mechanic, but... Oh, yeah. <laughs> <Smart elite. laughs> Seriously, the places that I've eaten in my life. I've eaten on building sites. Um, <laughs> we're now having a cheese and ham toasty out of 7 Eleven in a mechanic's garage. Opposite the Buddhist temple. Opposite the Buddhist temple, while it is absolutely hammering down. Oh. <laughs> Cheese. <laughs> we are hungry. We can't help laughing in here for about 10 or 15 minutes now. <laughs> We're now on our muffin. Uh, it is, it ain't stopped, look. I've been investing a poncho. It carries on like this, I reckon we're gonna see a few long tail boats come up the road in a minute. <laughs> Taxi! <laughs> <laughs> We're about half hour into our lunch break now. You get beer. You get beer. 
No problem. Thank you. Bye. At least I can do is buy him a beer for lending us these chairs. We're now poncho tough. Oh, do you know what? This is the only clothes shopping I've done in, uh, <laughs> in my Thailand trip. Now if you pull that in, it'll go around your neck a bit. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not. Stop the wall while going in. <laughs> right, we're off, yeah? So the rain has finally let up after about an hour. It's um, slowly going. Slowly going. It, I mean, it rained. Well, it was downpour for about an hour, and you can see here uh, we are just outside the main temple. Um, absolutely amazing structure. I don't know whether you can see on the camera. It's not very bright. There is so much detail in these structures, uh, and yeah, back to the rain. It's I mean, you can, he's flooded. So outside this temple. It's about a foot of water all the way around the Maybe temple in a minute. Suppose we could take our shoes off and have a walk round. <laughs> Crazy. Right, we're going across. <laughs> to be honest, there's probably many people don't get to um, walk across water to get to this temple. Um, okay, so these are one of the smaller structures that are on the four corners. So you can see the detail through here. So you've got four of these, one on each corner, and then you've got uh, monuments or structures in the middle here, between each of the four corners. And then the main structure here stretches all the way up. So there is a sign saying that you can't climb the main structure, but there is a set of stairs here. Um, so we're gonna head up here. So this is a close up of the structure. So this is obviously the lower level. Um, it's all ceramic. So all of these details here are all ceramic. And you can see uh, where some of it's actually broken away. So it's quite delicate. And it just goes. How much time it would have taken to have actually made that out of all the different plates and ceramic? I would have taken forever. Yeah, look at all that. Um, and it just goes on and on. There's seriously miles of it. So, as Angela said, it must have taken, I don't know, years. Because there's miles of it, it's all over the back and everything. Probably made some good reading as to yeah what it symbolises, why it was built, when it was built, how long it took. I can't, I can't give you that information because I haven't read it. You can see there opposite one of the other of the four corners here. Now there are more steps that go further up, but there's a gate there. Um, so they obviously don't want the general public to go up. Super strenuous, obviously, this visit, other than the first uh, row of stairs to take you up to that middle level there. Able bodied people, no problem at all. There's no wheelchair access, really, so the boats kind of pull up at the uh, jetties or the piers. Um, yeah, there's no real way of uh, wheelchair access often on the boats, actually, thinking about it. So. Um, it's 
to, yeah, you need to be able-bodied. You don't need to be super fit. As I say, there's only a few sets of stairs there. When we was having dinner uh, just on the other side of the river last night, um, this was all lit up so we could see it in the distance. Um, we might have got some on the GoPro, I can't remember. If we did, obviously, we'd put it on this video. So we said that we'd have some light reading. If you want to freeze the video, there is some there. I think that's going to give me and Angela all the answers to the questions we was asking. So I'm going to have a read through. symmetrical gardens all the way around the temple uh, really privileged to go in and get blessed by a Buddhist monk myself and Angela uh, we got a bracelet he rubbed the beads across our wrist and wished us luck it's quite nice wasn't it yeah, it was some sort of oil that was on the on the beads and he rubbed them all across our wrist and doused us with water uh, to, yeah, blessings, I think they called, yeah. It was, mm. it was a, an experience, <laughs> a really nice experience. It's fantastic. Just heading over to one of the other temples to see if we can go inside. temple another blessing by a buddhist monk uh whew, i keep getting emotional every time that they do it and uh he was very polite actually because the other one just spoke thai but he was actually trying to ex explain to us what he was saying i'm wishing you good luck and everything else that comes with it but good health is just as important um yeah so he was he was trying to explain it in English as well, which was quite, mm. quite nice of him, wasn't it? Yeah, no, definitely. Mm -hmm. um, beautiful temple, that one. You saw the uh, video awesome. inside. Awesome. Um, absolutely stunning. It's another um, very symmetrical layout. So you've got uh -huh. the temple in the middle, and then all the way around the outside, you have, um, I don't know whether these are guards, um, guards and um, they're not gargoyles but anyway these things are all all the way around the outside of the whole temple and then inside here you've got memorials um, yeah. and there's people's names etc below whether they're important people sponsors maybe I don't know but that goes all the way round the whole temple again so there's hundreds and hundreds of 
uh, the memorials that go around the outside. Um, I think I read something, again, we're not super religious, so we don't know, um, but I think I read something about the Buddhist uh, and that the monks obviously believe in the universe. It's kind of like internal, sorry, eternal, so eternal life. So I don't know whether the, the symmetrical layout where it kind of more or less continues and doesn't stop is a symbol of that eternity. Um, again, you can probably read heaps on the web. Uh, if you've got any comments and you know this stuff, yeah, please put some comments below. Uh, let us know and any other viewers, obviously, if you have any knowledge you want to share, pop it on the thread below. Uh, I'd love to read it and I'm sure other people would too. We've had a fantastic day at yeah. Wat Arun, run. right on the water. Yeah, it's really nice to come down here. Yeah, it was lovely, well worth seeing. We wanted to do a temple trip as part of our Thailand trip and we didn't know when we'd get around to seeing it. So we're so pleased our last day flying home and we get to see our temple with our Buddhist monks. <laughs> we was gonna pass through, we've been here three hours. <laughs> well worth a visit. So we're now leaving Wat Arun, where the temples are. Um, we are apparently looking for Pier 4. So we're going to a place called Wat Po. Now the reason why we go in there is they train um, people to do the time massages at Wat Po. So it's the Wat Po Institute of Massage. Um, it's supposed to be very, very experienced, so we're gonna after all this walking treat ourselves hopefully the to, home. to a massage yeah. go go back to the hotel have a shower and stuff Be all and nice uh, and relaxed hopefully yeah, yeah all nice and chilled ready for our flight back yeah. so you can see here wax Aaron and Wat Ho are on two opposite sides of the water. Um, we think we're at the right place uh, and it actually says tickets are not applicable for the ferry but it's a long tail boat. It's four baht per person to cross the water which is 10 pence. 10 p each. Little kittens. Angela. Paid out four bar. Uh, this is the jetty here. Looks a bit wobbly. <laughs> so it is a ferry, not a long tail boat. However, it's not a big ferry. Here. There's a few small concessions. 
selling some clothes, food, etc. And now we are in officially in Wat Ho. So it looks like there's a small markets outside here at Wat Ho. We're going to have a walk through. It's a little bit smelly. Uh, just to see what they're selling so that we can show you on the camera. We might need to rush. <laughs> and you're just eating. <laughs> to go in um, yeah we enjoy the massage I'm sure and let you know what it was like it's only a tiny uh, front of the shop here but it goes out the back and upstairs. We went into an area where there's four beds. I don't know whether they've only got four beds. They do four people at one time. Um, it's unreal. They, every <laughs> single every single move they make is for uh, an individual part of your body. I mean, I don't know what it's all about, but they know what they're doing. Um, excellent, highly recommend. The whole area is where they train for these massages, so there's probably lots of these places. This is one of many. Authentic um, Thai. Very, very authentic. Um, yeah, so awesome. So glad we come to this area now. Um, we're going to find some food. There's all small kind of um, concessions along the front here. Lots of different restaurants. So we're going to choose one of these, have some food. And then we need to go back and pack to go home to Essex. Let's have the massage before we do the flight. Oh, she's meant to be very tense. <laughs> <laughs> she's all very tense. Bless. Yeah, it's quite quirky. He brought us um, bowls of ice, he said, <laughs> to cool down. Like cool down. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, actually, it does work. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Oh, one-sided menu. So there's a menu with some bits and bobs on. What have you got, Angela? It's a green Thai curry. That sauce is really hot. Nice with an egg. <laughs> It's a green Thai curry without sauce. I think if you want the sauce, you have to ask for a soup. I ordered a green Thai soup. <laughs> we'll see where it comes out like. We found the food. We haven't been here long. We had dinner last night and now obviously we're eating a lunch. We found the food in Bangkok. A bit different from the islands, actually, haven't we? Yeah, you need. The islands are quite Oh, Thank you. We had to go next door to get a beer. Now, obviously, I haven't got a license. Um, so he said, yeah, go into the shop next door, buy yourself a beer, and then you can bring it in here. So. Last Thailand beer. Last Chang. <laughs> oh, there we go. Mm -hmm. So the soup has arrived, which is a green Thai curry. We have a vegetable fried rice with it. Mm -hmm. a bit of mix and match. Looks like it's a nice bit of fun actually. Yum. Just 
checked out the Amari Watergate Hotel in Bangkok. We would recommend this place. Uh, the room was as posh as you're going to get really. Swimming pool here, it's all on the camera. The staff are absolutely glorious. Um, yeah, it's a nice place to stay. So uh, we might not take the train back to the airport. Uh, we might treat ourselves and get a taxi back. We're going to see how much, <laughs> how many parts they're going to charge us. Um, but yeah, uh, we're off over to Bangkok Airport and heading back to London. Back home to London Heathrow, and then the train from London Heathrow back to where we live. So that's another hour and a half journey. Big one ahead of us. We did get the cab in the end, didn't we? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, it's well worth it. The hotel called Cabba, we thought it was going to be really expensive, but it worked out really well. Yeah, so um, we said to the guy, what's it going to cost us to go to the airport? He said about four or five hundred baht in the cab, obviously. Yeah. Um, and when the cab come up, the bellboy said, make sure that you put the meter on. Um, so when they put the meter on, you can obviously work, see what it's going to cost you. Anyway, we pulled up, it was 300 baht. Um, so, I mean, that was at £7.50. We was in the cab about 40 minutes, half an hour, 40 minutes. <laughs> Got a bit noisy out there. It's mayhem because everyone's being dropped off, obviously. A bit like Heathrow and they've got security going, hurry up, hurry up, get out. Yeah. So basically, all I was to say was someone that we met that lives in Bangkok, she said that always make sure the meat is on 35 and make sure they put the meat on because it's law that they have to put the meat on and then that way the fare is, is correct because otherwise because we're tourists they will just go that's fine the meat is broke and just go no because they have to have a meter running or it's against the law there you go right we're in the terminal a massive airport this one very very large you can see here seems to go on forever down that way so very technological in here lots of self-checking desks you can see through here We need to check in um, our big backpacks, obviously, because they're going to go on the hold. Um, should put this mask on, really. Everybody wears masks. Even the statues have got masks on. And don't forget to subscribe so we can grow our channel. And if you hit the notification bell, you'll know when we next upload an episode. Don't forget to leave us a comment because we love hearing from you. And give us a thumbs up if you're liking and enjoying these episodes. Thanks for watching Adventures with Angela and Wayne. Heathrow. <laughs>